please stand. <laughs> celebrate Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the light that shatters darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the hope of the sinner and the lost. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the redeemer of all. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord.
mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel sing, His mercy endures forever. This is the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Christians praise the Paschal victim, offer thankful sacrifice. Christ the Lamb has saved the sheep, Christ the just one paid the price. Reconciling sinners to the Father, Death and life fought bitterly for this wondrous victory. The Lord of life who died reigns glorified. O Mary, come and save what you saw at break of day. The empty tomb of my living Lord, I saw Christ Jesus risen and adored. Bright angels testified, shroud and grave close side by side. Yes, Christ my hope rose gloriously, 
He goes before you into Galilee. Share the good news, sing joyfully. His death is victory. Lord Jesus, Victor King, show us mercy. Be with you. And with with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciples went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciples also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. In the early darkness of the morning, on the third day after their rabbi's execution, three women checked one last time to make sure they had everything they needed. That's because Jesus had been robbed of a proper Jewish burial since his death came on the verge of the Sabbath. The three women intended to make this one thing right in all of the universe turned hopelessly away from God. And so the women prepared to be at the tomb as dawn broke. They walked to Jesus' tomb, thinking of the large, insurmountable object between them 
and their task. It was the great stone blocking the entrance to the tomb. Yet when they arrived at the tomb, the three women did a double take because the stone had already been rolled away. The same applies to you. Because today's gospel message is a dual challenge this Easter. The first challenge is for you to look at the real obstacles in your life with the eyes of faith. the things which seem impossible for you to change are not obstacles to God. Through grace, you can see that God has already removed the problems plaguing you if you have the faith to push ahead. The second prong of the challenge comes when you do push ahead. For once you have seen that God can remove the obstacles blocking your way, then you must follow where Jesus leads. And once you do that, Jesus will say to you, follow me. On this Easter Sunday, how will you respond? Last night at the Easter Vigil, the candidates who were coming into the church and all the people renewed their baptismal promises. So it's appropriate on this Easter Sunday, instead of the creed, for you to renew your Easter promises, baptismal promises. So your response to these questions is, I do. My friends, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. 
And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Father, we come before you this morning and we present our petitions to you. For the church in this season of joy, may the Holy Spirit empower us to share the good news with all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve in the judicial system and in law enforcement, may the Lord guide them in the ways of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who do not yet believe or understand, may the light of the risen Christ draw them to faith and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may we be drawn more deeply into personal relationship with Christ through his loving power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are baptized into the church this Easter, that they may walk in the grace of God all of their days. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, may they rest in eternal peace in God's heavenly kingdom. We pray especially for Sharon Bramble, Don Abley, and all our parishioners whom we remember in a special way at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That more men and women will joyfully answer the call of the Lord to proclaim his life, death, and resurrection as priests, deacons, and in the consecrated life. May we pray together the vocation prayer. Almighty Father, you have created us for some definite purpose. Grant us the grace to know the path you have planned for us in this life and respond for the generous yes. yes. Make, Make our archdiocese, parishes, homes, and hearts fruitful ground for your gift of vocations. May our young people respond to your call with courage and zeal. Stir among our men a desire and a strength to be good and holy priests. Bless us with consecrated religious, those called to a chaste single life, permanent deacons, and faithful husbands and wives who are assigned in Christ's love for his church. We commend our prayer for vocations to you, Father, through the intercession of Mary, our mother, and the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. There'll be a second collection today for the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Generosity is always appreciated. God bless you.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Of the kingdom, the kingdom and the power and the glory of yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
blood of Christ. Thank you. Yeah.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. A few announcements. Next Sunday is Divine Mercy Sunday. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy will be sung immediately following Mass. There will also be adoration of the Blessed Sacrament with benediction at 12 p.m. The Word Among Us books for April are available at the exits. Please, please take one if you need one. Nancy Jones will be hosting the Vocation Chalice this week. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.